The AI fervor means data has quickly become the hottest commodity after microchips. How do companies turn a fire hose of data on their customers' revenue and operations into something manageable that they can use to grow their business? Well, that's what Tracer does in a very competitive space. We're joined by the company's new president, announced this morning, Obella Brown West. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, and congratulations on the new role, of course. Um, I mean, you. you're coming in at a time, you're very welcome, you're coming in at a time where data is, is considered the new oil at this point. What is your vision for the company when you're coming into a space that's really been changing so quickly in the last few months? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Um, the space, as we all know, um, data is absolutely everywhere. And our platform is a data intelligence platform that empowers businesses to have better control of their data. We are agnostic with where data comes from. We're agnostic with where we need to send our platform's insights to. Our goal is to make sense of a company's data source in order for a company to truly understand what their data is telling them, because as we know, data is everywhere. And we want all people to be able to make better business decisions and understand their data. So essentially pulling data from other platforms into sort of one place with context that you can really understand and that can help guide things like like your marketing and your ad spend as well. Um, talk about the investments that you've seen in this space at the moment. Uh, I mean, you just had a guest on talking about AI. Um, there is a lot of investment that is happening in this space because everyone needs to better understand their data. There's just too much of it right now, which it's a good thing. We're able to understand our customers. We're able to understand what's happening in our business, but there's a proliferation. And so the amount of investment to solve the problem is, um, is quite large of what's happening right now in the space. Now, obviously, this is a space that is not is not unique to your company. I mean, you have you have Salesforce out there. So talk about where you see yourself competing in a space against a company like a Salesforce. Um, we see ourselves competing very well. Um, we uh, have a lot of happy clients. We have a growing investor set. Um, we completely respect what our um, competitors are doing. We respect the efforts of Salesforce. But a lot of our um, competitors, they tend to work in a closed environment. And as I said before, we are completely agnostic. And so um, we want to just help our clients solve their problems, regardless of where their data is coming from, regardless of where it needs to go to. And a lot of our competitors can't say that. They work within a little bit of a sandbox, which is limiting and only gives you a small view of what your data story is. And we hope to break that down and be a real challenger in the market. And I think our investors would agree that they also see the opportunity that Tracer brings. And it has been a tough market for a lot of startups. Investment has been falling off, but especially when it comes to AI, that's a space that we continue to see companies pour into. But then we also see a lot of companies perhaps looking at bringing some of that in-house. Are there any plans at some point in terms of acquisition or, or are you really still trying to be a standalone company when you do still have some of these big tech companies perhaps absorbing some of these smaller AI companies to do this sort of work? Yes, I, right now we are focused on making Tracer the best company that it can possibly be, the best platform that it can possibly be. Um, if there are conversations down the road for potentially in-housing, we are open to having those. But right now we are very focused on continuing to serve our clients, build our client base and make the platform the best it can be without getting too distracted about what the future might hold.